Okay, good morning everyone. I'm Francesco. I'm working in a company called Enterom, uh, based in, in beautiful Paris, to quote Brad yesterday on Boston. Um, so I'm in this lightning talk. I just give you, I just want to give you our experiences in adopting Nextflow as our primary workflow engine in the company and how we scale uh, our data analysis on the uh, AWS cloud. Um, so Nextflow um, is a very, I hope, well-known uh, workflow engine uh, up to this moment. So it's been around for many years now. It's pretty stable, robust, and uh, um, offers many things. Um, allows you to orchestrate uh, directly your workflows and your analysis on different systems. Um, it allows uh, de to deploy and to reproduce your analysis using software containers. And it's very portable because it runs on a number of different, uh, of different executors. Uh, so this is the list of all the executors that are supported by Nextflow up to today. Um, in particular, the Cloud One. So uh, Nextflow has a, has a very nice support for uh, Amazon Cloud uh, for up to this moment. Um, the support for Google Cloud and Azure are, are coming, I think. So this is, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so fantastic. So th this is the reason why they are, they are great but I know that they are, they are coming and they are working. So, but up to today, I mean, the, the, the uh, support was uh, really for AWS, and, and as a company, we decided to use, uh, to use AWS. And in particular, AWS Batch, this is a very, very cool new system, new service, sorry, that was launched uh, last year by Amazon, and um, I think it's probably the most uh, closest thing uh, that uh, people coming from scientific computing can find on the cloud to run to run jobs at scale. So basically, it automates uh, completely uh, the, the creation of a, of a dynamic cluster in the cloud. Uh, it's based on Docker, which is of course a big big plus, and uh, uh, it is sufficiently intelligent as a service to op optimize the, the kind and the type of instances that needs to be run according on, on the job uh, requirements in terms of memory and, and CPUs, uh, not very well in terms of um, space and storage, but that is another, another story. And what we have seen in the company is that um, using AWS Batch in combination with spot instances and particularly with the new per second billing that Amazon has put in place a few months ago, um, this has dramatically reduced our, our, our computing cost to run analysis at scale uh, in the company. Uh, so with Nextflow, of course, I mean, if you are already familiar with Nextflow, uh, Nextflow uh, support, as I was saying, many executors. Uh, so what we have seen and was what mentioned uh, before in, in, the, in the talk before, is that we start in, in airplane mode. I, I really love that <laughs> expression uh, in, in on our local laptop. We uh, develop our, our workflows uh, using Docker locally, um, and, then, uh, and then we can scale on, uh, on a local infrastructure if, we, if you have one. We don't, we are 100% cloud. But when you're ready, it's just uh, a matter of uh, switching the executor in, in uh, uh, Nextflow, and uh, you're, that's basically it, and you're basically able to run the same workflow in the cloud. Because behind the scenes, Nextflow converts the tasks um, and the processes into AWS batch jobs and transparently manage all the staging of the files uh, from S3 into your container and out of the, the container when, when the job is finished. And it is very, very, very um, powerful thing. So in our experience, uh, using next, both Nextflow and AWS Batch, uh, uh, so it's very positive up to, to this moment. So Nextflow fully support Batch starting from version 0.26. Uh, so it's been, I think, six months now that Nextflow supports Batch. Um, there is anyway a minimal configuration for the user to be able to use the service. You need at least to set up a, a custom AMI, or at least this is what I can suggest, uh, to adjust for you know, a local space on the, on the machine according to your, the type of your workflows and workloads, and at least create a computing environment in batch, which is basically a, a virtual space in which you say how many CPUs you want at max. Uh, and, uh, uh, 
the very positive thing that we have seen is that um, using Nextflow and AWS Batch, we, we are basically able to, to get the, the best of both things. So with, with, with the cloud, of course, we get scalability, in, in, in almost infinite scalability. So really, it's, it's a non-issue, the scalability in the cloud, apart from, from the bill, of course, in your, in your account, but that is another problem. And with Nextflow, really, really, we have a very, very high level and high quality reproducibility uh, of everything is, is traced and we don't need to rerun twice a task and an analysis if it has already been done on the same input data and with the same parameters. And we, we get composability, which is a thing that uh, we really love in Nextflow. So being able to start with a minimal workflow and then you know, un incrementally adding processing and then in complexity in a workflow. So basically we can switch from development to production along the way. Um, we as Enterom, we contributed in, in the, a, a bit in the development of AWS Batch. So we, we, we got in touch with the Nextflow team last year to, to help out the integration of the service because Nextflow supported Amazon uh, as a whole. I mean, uh, through EC2 uh, APIs and S3, but the, the, the support for batch was not, was not there yet because it, it was released generally, I think, in June 2017 as a service. And in terms of optimizations, as I was saying, I mean, uh, batch does a very good job generally in optimizing the, the, the computing environment for your workflow and workload. Where is is still lacking is uh, is the storage management. So you need to probably over provision a bit uh, this the space on on the instance to to run your uh, your workflows, and then this is something that can be optimized uh, even in Nextflow uh, with some more concurrency in the way that the files are staged in and staged out of the container. And I think that's it. Last slide is just a heads up for the Nextflow. If you're interested in Nextflow, there will be well, um, a workflow, uh, sorry, <laughs> there will be a workshop on workflows uh, in, uh, in Barcelona in November, and uh, the Nextflow team is here tomorrow for the CoFest. So thank you very much.